Hello everybody, No1897 here, and uh, I'm alone today, no evil is or fell, but um, I'm going to be doing a quick server tour so we can get some, maybe get some videos up on this, uh, on our channel for this server. We haven't uploaded a video in a while, uh, oops, hit my mouse. Um, we were planning on uploading some more 404, I uh, haven't gotten to that yet, I still have some to edit, <laughs> it's been uploaded a long time, but hopefully I can get that done soon, um, and we can continue with that, I don't know, but... Uh, this is going to be a little server tour. This is a public, well not public server, public in the sense of more than me and Ian, but it's still a private server. Only our friends get to join. Um, currently, the only people who play on the server is uh, me, Evil Israfel, uh, our good friend Vexor Tragic, uh, my good friend Bobby, and his friend Jedi Cody. And um, there was Falling. Falling uh, played on here for a little bit, but he doesn't play that much at all. He's barely played, so I don't know if he's going to continue playing or not. He hasn't played in a while, but um, the server's about a month and a week old-ish, maybe a month and two weeks old. Um, we've done a lot in that whole month, I guess, and this is uh, so we started with these snapshots, and then we right now we're playing at 1.8, obviously. Um, and right now I'm at the entrance of my house, and I'm just gonna be doing a tour of everything we have so far. That way we have a basis, so in case we want to start putting videos up on our We Make Indie Nuts channel. We can, and you guys understand what's going on. So, um, let's get started. Oop, hit F5 too many times. Okay. No. Oh, okay. So, um, as you can see, this is my house right now. We're up on a hill. All uh, right, down there is my temporary farms, I guess. Uh, sugar cane, cactus, wheat, and potatoes, cows and sheep, and then some chicken farms here. Actually, I'll go down there real quick before I show off my house. Um. Uh, basically, these are just temporary because eventually we're building basically a town center out there and um, or a city, I guess. And we're basically going to have different places, and we're gonna have community farms so I can get rid of some of these other ones that I can't get rid of. You know, like chickens and cows. Some of the stuff that we're gonna need more of, I might make my own underground so they're not visible. But these are just kind of temporary, except for maybe the chicken farm. I might move this down a few blocks so it's underground, but um. Right now, it's kind of set up for catching eggs. It's more of an egg farm than an actual chicken farm, but I do get chickens when I want to. Um, but yeah, all these chests. <laughs> um, no, they're not all full. Uh, I just added a bunch. I had five double chests that were full, so I just spent the last 20 minutes adding a bunch. And these automatically go all the way to the bottom, and they're not done transferring. So I don't know how long that'll take, but they should fill up to about here-ish. Maybe a little bit more because the hoppers. I used to have double hoppers on each one, which, and I realized that was completely unnecessary. So I got rid of the double hoppers and just made it one hopper. So um, that should mean these get backed up a little bit more because each hopper has five slots of storage. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's go this way. So this is my house. This is my portal. There's nothing interesting in the nether at all, so we we use it as transport to get to far out places, but my house was built into a mountain. I went for a modern style. This is just a mine, so there's nothing there. Don't worry about that. You're not missing anything. But it's more of a modern style. I'm I'm pretty much done except for except for maybe some interior decorating and furnishing. But um we have to come up this ladder. It's not the most convenient thing, but I've actually divided the way this ladder this uh, staircase is set up is I can sprint up the entire thing. I've had enough practice. I can get up the entire thing pretty quickly, but uh, this is the main floor. This is why I'm saying having more furnishing. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I still need to decorate the interior a little bit, maybe make this into a small kitchen or something. Right now, this is just housing, potion stuff. Um, you come upstairs, kind of a lofty area. Um, this is where my bed is, an ender chest, some nice music. Um, crap. I don't have anywhere to put that, so I'm just going to turn you go off now. Okay. Um, so that's my upstairs. Um, out here is a little bit of a balcony. We have my brewing stands. Just kind of an overlook, overwatch. Um, you can get downstairs through there. I'm not going to go through that way to get downstairs. Another little overwatch that you can get out to on the roof. Um, Coming down here is my store. This is my storage room. I have another ender chest, an anvil, a cake that I made in my head. Um, 
you can't get these actually legitimate in the game. We do play them on the server legit though. It's a survival server. No no commands. No cheating. No none of that crap. Um, but since you can't get your heads in any legit way, me and Ian, your evil lizard fellow as you know him, spawned our heads in just to put it on our walls. Um, I don't think anybody else has though. We can do that for them if they want, but nobody's anything. But yeah, this is my storage, my main storage, where I keep all my goodies. Um, quite a bit of iron already, and I've only gone on one mine trip. I started this mine trip book where whenever I go on a mine trip, usually with Ian, it's usually what I'm with. I uh, say the date where it was and what I got from it. Big, the, the only big one I've actually gone on is um, Texas Island. Is what we named it because there was an island that was like shaped exactly like Texas, somehow, some way far away. I think I have the coordinates written down in my booklet here, but I'm not going to bother looking it up. But that's all the stuff I got from it. That was a few days after the server we we started the server. We started the server like the couple days uh, into August, um, like the third or fourth or something like that. Then this was the most recent one, which was four days ago, which is not even a mine trip. I just went through my branch mine a little bit and got that but um this was started after the initial mining had been done so that's why i have a lot more resources in there but i haven't had time to mine because i've had so many projects working on the city and stuff um this is going to be my main kitchen or just food storage i just haven't furnished it yet um but this is just all my food i'm pretty well off on food right now nobody there um come down here this is my enchanting room um this is my ultimate diamond set of armor that I'm going to make. Uh, it's going to be all prop four, break, unbreaking three. Um, but I haven't gotten there yet because right now my shop in the city is going to be a bookstore that sells enchanted books. I got my wither heads. If we did kill a wither, as you can see, you've probably seen beacons around. Um, these are my boots that I got, like a low level enchant. Um, fire protection, death strider one, feather falling two. Uh, hold on a sec. Alright, sorry about that. My mom just got home, so you're probably going to hear her in the background. I'll try and edit that out as much as I can, but uh, no promises about that because she's kind of loud. Um, but yeah, uh, I have some enchanted books. I've mostly just been building stuff up, like my uh, Snow Cone of Death Bow, Power 4, I'm Breaking 1. I want to get that to I'm Breaking 3 in Infinity. And that'll be like the ultimate bow. Um, Sharpest 5. I want to put the I'm Breaking 3 book on it, but I'm thinking that's going to be impossible now because. It's like 36 levels to put that on there, which is ridiculous. My fortune is silk touch pick, and then my current efficiency for I'm breaking three pick that I've been using. I'm just using a regular power two and breaking two bow. And this, okay, this sword I got off of a zombie. I'm breaking three, sharpness three. I don't know how I did it. Best sword ever. It's amazing. And it's cheap to repair too. So that's absolutely wonderful. Um, there's, these are just overflow storage chests for when I run out of space up there. But. I'll go show you, I'll just go down the line of the houses and then I'll show you the town square last. Anyways, this is Bobby's house. Um, he just started the server, so his house isn't completely done. He doesn't have much stuff yet, but, um, you know, this is his house. He has his farms down here. Oh, there's a zombie at his door. So I leave that alone. This heads to his mine. Um... Up here, or back here, we got upstairs balcony. I think he is sharing this place with Jedi Cody. I don't know how often. I know Bobby plays every once in a while. He sh he plays rather frequently. I don't know how much how often Jedi Cody will play, but he'll just probably share his place with Ian or with Bobby. And then um, back here, this is Ian's place. Uh, we both built our house. It's pretty similar block. And we both went for a more modern look, but they do look different, I think, contrary to what Vex thinks. She thinks they look exactly the same. I think they look very different, but oh well. Um, yeah, this is his bedroom. Uh, this is just kind of main forest decoration. I, that's where he smelt stuff, I guess, for his kitchen. This is his storage. He's a lot better off than me on materials because that's, well, that's what he does. He likes to get a bunch of fancy things <laughs> he goes mining a lot and gets a bunch of materials and works on that i've been mostly building i haven't had time to actually go mining and get a bunch of the materials that i'd like to get um some basic farms over here uh, let's see go back here some more basic farms um off the 
this way. This is, I guess, a cooking room. I don't think I've seen that before. And this is cow, cow room. Um, so yeah, nothing. This actually kind of reminds me of my old house on my, uh, on the old server we had back three years ago. Feels a lot like that. Um, just the way it's laid out. It doesn't look at all the same, but that's just kind of what it feels like. Um, I guess I can show you the town right now since we're here. So basically, the town center is right there. Um, these are what I'm working on. These are the community farms. I, I've i been working on them slowly. It's not my top priority. Just kind of on and off. As I walk by, I might get an idea and work on it. Get out of here, stupid skeleton. Um, this is the valley we spawned in. I, I lit up the entire thing one day on a grid system. So, you know, so it's nice and laid out. Perfect amount of torches to light everything up. But this is the basic farm. So there's storage under here with basic... Melon, pumpkin, and nether wart. And then these staircases are going to go up to a floating platform up here, just above this. That hovers just above this, and it's going to hold potatoes, wheat, and carrots. While over here, this is going to be uh, all storage down here. And then up above is going to be the same kind of similar design as this one, obviously, to keep it matching. But it's going to have um, some cows, some pigs, and some sheep. Just some basic animal farms, not too many, just enough so that people can uh, use them as they'd like. And if they need them, if they want to take them and put a farm at their own house, they can just grab a couple and take them to their house. And that way, they have we have a readily suppl ready supply of um, animals. But uh, this is the basic layout we're going for for the city. As you can see, there are different plots we've laid out that people can just kind of follow the general idea to. Um, I just kind of build the road around and let it loop around so people can build stuff. Um, here's another plot. This is the um, town center. It's using a day-night sensor which lights up all these street lights under here. These are just pistons but underneath it are uh, redstone lamps that light up. This is a dragon egg shrine. This is going to be a future shop of mine. But then back here is a little pond that eventually I'm going to transform into a park area because, you know, we need a park downtown. Um, so this is Evil Israfel's tower. Um, he's out of stuff here, but this bottom floor is a shop, a jewel, like a diamond shop, basically. A block shop for, or, like, the different ore, or, well, gem blocks, I guess, and these are just kind of basic block shops. And upstairs is just office buildings, I guess. They don't really serve as a shop or anything. Um, but it's a skyscraper. It's a nice, actually, very nice focal point for the center of the city. Um, this is his Prismarine store. It says Office of Peens, Prismarine. That's because uh, his character on APP Road is Office of Peen. But um, he sells Prismarine here. Very nice store. This is Vex's store, which is not finished. She's planning on having six floors. Um, right now she has two. Well, one floor that's actually selling stuff. And she hasn't had much time to work on this, or she's just been busy doing other things. Um, and yet she yells at me for not being able to finish my store, which is the which is Barnes Our Global Bookstore in Shanty Books and more. Because I'm, I'm gonna go for a um, well, what I guess it'd be just a uh, Shanty Bookstore and cafe. So you know, down here is gonna be a little cafe area, our outdoor seating, outdoor seating here. Um, and then upstairs is going to be a cafe as well, an indoor, indoor cafe, but um, we got uh, kind of decoration. Right now it's just in the decorating state. It is not in the uh, actual functional state. People can't buy stuff here, but it's just going to be enchanted books. Um, then upstairs, this will be the area of the cafe and a little outdoor seating patio. And then up here, I don't, I think, I don't know what I'm going to do up here. It's not going to be accessible because it's just a staircase would take up too much space. But this might just house something kind of cool. I may, I don't know what I'd, I'd do in here. I don't know what I'd house in there, but I can probably figure something out. Um, uh, let's see. I think that's it for the downtown shops. We haven't gotten much done. And I'm not going to say what this shop will be, but it's going to be a service. Um. I don't know what that is. Somebody made something for parkour. That's Ian's just kind of farm tower. But yeah, more plots. The city is still heavily being laid out. 
we haven't we have so many projects right now all of us and it's just like so much stuff to do that it overwhelms us almost um, but right here we're gonna have this walkway and each little walkway is like each side of the walkway is gonna be covered or not covered but it's gonna have giant oaks so you kind of like walk through a tunnel of oaks and at the end is going to be the arena um if you guys have followed us for a long time very I don't even think anybody's followed us because it was just a small channel. But our old channel, the AOD Boys, um, we had a video where on our old server, the one I was talking about earlier, that was like from, that we played on three years ago, we built an arena in one day of comparable size to this that was um, that we used for PvP battles and just stuff for fun. But this is about 60 blocks long and 51 blocks wide, if I remember correctly. And it's in the same shape of the Allianz Arena. And that's what we're kind of basing it off of, is uh, Allianz Arena style. And we're going to put an arena in the middle, and people can fight to death. Um, it's kind of dangerous under there, so I'd advise not going under there. <laughs> but that's that for town right now. Obviously, we're planning on having shops all around spread out as, as people get settled in and can get more shops and services on the way. Um... God, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's nobody, nobody's taking claim to whose that is. I'm, I'm guessing it's either this or Bell's, but he's not saying. Um, this is Vex's place. This is going to be, or this is a villager kind of breeding housing. Um, you can watch her video if you want an in-depth tour of this stuff. Her farms. She moved her beacon over to her casino, which I failed to show. I'll go back over there. But this is her house. Um, well, this is her temporary house that she uses, she uses to keep all her stuff in. And that's her house she's building. Farms, again. Um, oh boy. That's going to kill me. Oh my gosh. That was absolutely clutch. Did you guys see that? Did you see how clutch that was? I don't know how I saved myself from dying there. Oh my gosh. Clutch, 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 clutch. But yeah, okay. Anyways, she had a beacon here originally, and she used haste two efficiency five and a silk touch pick, and dug this all out for a bunch of resources. She got so much stuff. I don't even know how she did, but I'm surprised I solved or survived that. I thought that was the ladder staircase or the ladder hole, but nope. That I don't think anybody can rep like replicate what I just did there. That was extremely clutch baller, elite hacks or or twenty blazing hacks. I can't believe I just said that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how I just did that. Like, right before he hit the ground. Uh, so baller. Um, back there, she has a stable for horsies. This is just kind of her mini town that she has stuff she was, she needs or that she uses. Um, and let's see. I don't know what that pillar's for. I don't know what that's for. Oh, oh yeah, that's the that's where Park Ginder is going. Uh, we're putting a big park, kind of like a central park, I guess. That's that's Ian's. It's gonna be Ian's project. He's gonna put a nice big park back there for the city. Um, and I don't think the actual city shops will expand this far back. Maybe they will. I don't know. Eventually, I guess we we're gonna want to do a uh, we want to do a tentacle acres, which is you know if you remember the SpongeBob episode the living or the housing community for all the squids in Spongebob. That's where Squidward moved to when he was annoyed at uh, Spongebob Patrick. But we're going to build tentacle acres and put a bunch of villagers in it. That's that's a far away project, but uh, we each get a design in different houses and just kind of making it look a very suburban American suburbs style housing with uh, villagers in them that we can use for trading. But this is a Vex's work in progress. It's a casino. Um, as you can see, there's this uh, pool table. She has a villager in here i guess is a ticket booth um, i'm not sure exactly but um but yeah you get to chance it with a fortune pick um you pay here and you get the chance of winning more diamonds than you paid um you also have a chance of losing so yeah that's cool she's gonna have more levels but um this is what she has so far and let's see you know that pretty much covers it actually isn't too much to do, too much to show you. Um, cause we haven't really, we haven't done much in the sense of a lot of different buildings, a lot of different, you know, whatever, but 
we've done a lot in the sense of just trying to get this all planned out. Like, I can't tell you how much time it takes building a city, making it planned out, and actually just building buildings. Um, but yeah, it's hard because I, I have so many projects I've been trying to jumble around between the shop, the farms, um, planning out the city, working on the arena, <laughs> eventually this thing, which I can't describe. Um, it's a secret. Nobody else can know. But yeah, okay, I, this has been a pretty long episode, so I'm going to end it here. Just a quick tour. Hopefully a quick tour. Hopefully it's not too long. Um, but I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Nothing else that's important is left. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully we'll be doing more episodes, and Evil is for Yes. Bye.